Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to be measuring the amperage amount uh, used by this Keurig coffee maker, and I'm going to be using the Fluke 902 FC HVAC clamp meter, and this is a uh, Fluke Connect. The FC means Fluke Connect. That means I can get all the measurements on my cell phone. So this is on, and it's reading zero amps, and, and I'm going to put it on an AC line splitter. Uh, let me explain this here. This AC line splitter has a times one area and a times 10 area. I'm going to put it on the times 10 area for greater accuracy, but I'll have to divide my readings by 10. Uh, so it's on the times 10 area and the line splitter is plugged into the outlet and the clamp meter is clamped into the times 10 area of the AC line splitter. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is get the uh, meter in sync with my cell phone. I'm going to say capture measurements right there. And here's the 902 FC. And I'll say connect. And it says connected. So we're ready to go. All right. I'm going to put it on graphing right there. So we've got a graph, it says 0.0, .0 amps AC right now. And I'm going to press record. Okay, so we're recording. All right, so now I'm gonna put a cup of water in my coffee maker. And I put a, a pod of coffee in there. And I'm gonna press make coffee. Okay. So here's the here's the graph going right now. It says 0.7 amps AC. Now we got to divide that by 10. So it's not using very much amperage yet. It's using okay. Now it's using a lot of amperage. It's using 11.42 amps AC. 11.38 amps AC. So you need to know this. This coffee maker uses a lot of amps at least for a little while and this is what the graph looks like it was very close to zero it wasn't really zero but it's uh, it was close to a little more like 0 0.02 amps uh, just with a little led light on and now it's jumped up remember you got to divide this number by 10 so we've got 11.36 amps ac oops i put my cup in there <laughs> so it's heating up the water right now and there is uh, some coffee in there. And uh, we got it on graph. And you can see it, there's 123 volts AC right now. So it also measures the voltage at the same time. Okay, so the amperage has dropped down. It's a 0.07 amps AC. So it's not using very much amperage right now, but it sure did uh, for a little while. We'll be able to look and see how many seconds that took you see, I don't know if you can see, there's a little, it says seconds right here. Uh, it's about 40 to 100. It was about 50 seconds, it looks like, where it was heating up the water. So now we're getting coffee. And you see, you see the advantage of having this uh, Fluke Connect system with your cell phone. Uh, first of all, it's more accessible. Your cell phone's more accessible then the meter back here and the meter the backlight goes off sometimes and so here's the cell phone and here's what the graph looked like you see it, it got up to uh, between 11 and 12 amps and it started at about 50 seconds went to about 100 seconds so there's about 50 seconds of it, over 11 between 11 and 12 amps usage so you need to know this in a kitchen because a coffee maker uses quite a bit of amperage for a short time. So that's the answer to the question. This Keurig coffee maker uh, doesn't hardly use much amperage at all. But it is using, see all that's on right now is this little LED light. Nothing's really on. The, the coffee's not being heated up. It's just a one cup coffee maker. And, but it is using 0 0.01 amps AC just to run this little LED light. So it's not true that these coffee makers use no electricity when they're just sitting here on the on the counter.
but it is a very small amount. So that gives you a good uh, idea of that. And it uses a lot of electricity for 50 seconds. That may not be enough to uh, blow your circuit breaker, but it's certainly something that you should know about, especially if you have an older house. You don't have a lot of circuits coming into a kitchen on an older house. This is a 1960s house. I'm making a second cup of coffee now, and you can see what's going on with the coffee maker. It's at a very low amperage right now. It's setting itself up. It's doing its preliminaries there. You see, it's just jumped up to between 11 and 12 amps AC. So yeah, that way you can see it real clearly. You see that jump, and it's gonna stay in this range for about 50 seconds. So and that's how it works. So there's one use for the 902 FC, and also a very handy tool is this AC line splitter that's made by Amp Probe, and then you just it's any cell phone will work just fine. You just use the Fluke Connect app, and uh, this is real handy when you're making measurements in a panel. You can you can lock this up in a panel, and you can just measure it overnight. You get a whole graph of just what's going on for troubleshooting purposes. Now that we've seen how to test a small appliance for amperage dynamically, that is, while it's being used, let's look at the new 2020 NEC code, Article 210.11 B, load evenly proportioned among branch circuits. Once we know what kind of load we're going to be putting on a receptacle in a kitchen uh, for small appliances, uh, this would apply where the load is calculated on the basis of volt amperes per square meter or per square foot. The wiring system up to and including the branch circuit panel boards shall be provided to serve not less than the calculated load. This load shall be evenly proportioned among multi-outlet branch circuits within the panel board or boards. Branch circuit overcurrent devices and circuits shall be required to be installed only to serve the connected load. So here's 21011C dwelling units. Number one, small appliance branch circuits. In addition to the number of branch circuits required by other parts of this section, two or more 20 amp small appliance branch circuits shall be provided for all receptacle outlets specified by 210.52b. So you need at least two 20 amp small appliance branch circuits for your small appliances in a kitchen. And the load must be evenly proportioned among the small appliance branch circuits. I'll put a link in my video description for the Fluke 902FC HVAC meter. I'll also put links for the Amp Probe AC line splitter and for the Fluke Pack 30 Professional Tool Backpack. That's where my meters go when I'm not using them. Into that Professional Fluke Backpack. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.